Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jimmy Ventura and what a glorious night we have. A very special Friday Night Stand Firm. Can't wait to get it started. Let's fucking go. Seagull, he would do seagull things. Yeah, he's here with a big leg. This yeah. can't be a chill. No, he's done it! Oh my god! Oh my god, he's done it! commentators that I've ever heard in my life. Jimmy Fantastic! Jimmy Fantastic! Največja sreča! Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, I have revived my commentary career for just one more night, and that night is tonight on Friday Stand Firm. But I'm not coming alone, no, I'm coming with the good folks of the Atlantic Group of Makers of Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate. That's right, we are sponsored for tonight and tonight only and we are hosting ourselves a very special Friday Stand Firm. We're gonna have an eight man a single elimination tournament. The exclusive roster chosen by the good people at Atlantic Group of Makers of Jimmy Fantastic Chocolates. That's right folks, they've picked our eight greatest and well their favorite wrestlers to comp compete tonight and the winner of this very special tournament will be sent this exact 100 gram bar of crispy wafer flavored Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate. Mmm, that's some good eating, let me tell you. The Atlantic Group are our sponsors for the night are making us a feast of 100 gram chocolate bars and we are coming at you with wrestling action. Folks, Gorilla Mezzo out of retirement for one night and one night only. I can't wait to get to the arena and join my good friend Jimmy Ventura for this tournament, Nyvecha Stretchka, motherfuckers, see you tonight. Wow, well there you go, what a what a video that was. 
the legend has returned. Um, Boy, how did I miss the JFW folks? Gorilla Mezzo is in the house tonight, and I'm so happy to be back with you for this very special Stan Farm Tournament brought to you by Jimmy Fantastic Chocolates. That's right, folks, the Atlantic Group, uh, we are not actually official affiliated with them, has given us a roster of eight men to compete for one bar. Now, I bet you stretch you, motherfuckers. And if you don't know about Jimmy Fantastic Chocolates, well, now you do... The legend of Jimmy Fantastic has spread to the confectionery industry, and it has gone global, baby. That's right, Jimmy Fantastic chocolates are available to you anywhere from Dubrovnik to Zagreb, everyone. <laughs> if you live with all over the world within the confines of Croatia, you can get your hands on a Jimmy Fantastic chocolate bar. Jimmy Ventura in the booth with me. Man, it's been a while. Looking forward to this tournament. How you doing? Um, I'm doing great. Thanks, uh, Gorilla. And it is, it's going to be glorious, I'm sure. Can't wait to see. Abs Absolutely, and we're going to start it off. Who are our first two entrants in this eight-man tournament? We're doing all of the matches right here on Stand Firm. Later tonight, we'll crown a winner, and that winner will be sent a 100-gram bar of crispy wafer-flavored Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate. Oh, baby. <laughs> is Cloaca in Croatia? There are probably uh, probably plenty of Cloacas in Probab Croatia. I think it would be called Cloatia, though. <laughs> yes, that's true. And here we go, well, boy howdy. Who's our first entrant? Oh my goodness, well he just said he wanted a shot at that bar. He might get it. It's the leader of six feet down under. Night Demon. Coming out to the ring right now, and he will be facing someone in round one of this eight-man elimination tournament. Boy, howdy. Wait a minute, that's Night Demon's music. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Making his way to the ring from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing in Orleans. <laughs> oh, <flicky. laughs> Wow, Flicky, very, uh, very, very feisty tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Flicky got his pre-show wank match in, and uh, apparently he never got to finish. <laughs> I tell you what, though, Gorilla, how have you been in all these, in all these, uh, all this time away from the JFW? Uh, well, you know, I mean, I think you got a little glimpse into the last month of my life. It, it's been a little rough, Jim. It's been a little rough <laughs> adapting to uh, retired life. But you know what? This new this new chocolate hawking deal. I think I can make a I think I can make a real career out of it. Move into the next phase of my life, and uh, yeah, you know, it might just be one night only here in the JFW. So I'm just gonna relish what's ahead of me in for the next hour or so. Cool. And look who's out next, folks! It's Frost Lord Army, the big man. He's coming out here for his chocolate bar. Oh baby, that's where he, that's where the chocolate bar is gonna go. <laughs> and of course, oh. uh, Frosty was sent outside that off the top of Hell in a Cell, wasn't he? By six feet down under, so yeah, bit of revenge here, maybe bit of needle here. Absolutely, Frost Lord has definitely got some vengeance to pay back forever towards Night Demon. Of course, it was uh, Gedenik who sent him off. Uh, but I, I've been told that Atlantic Grupa does not want to ship chocolate to Australia, so Katanik <laughs> will definitely not be in this tournament. <laughs> Brilliant. And, and starting us off fiery right here, Frost Lord unloading some fists into Night Demon, overpowering the undead mastermind, but the technical precision of... Night Demon on display, and he is back in control here, and ooh, misses a little wildly with a stomp. Look out, Frosty, though. What's Night Demon got for him? Oh, shot. Body blows in the corner. Yeah. Wow, oh, nice counter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the drop, drop to hold into the ropes. Looked like he was setting up a 619. I would have loved to see Frosty pull that off. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> That'd be pretty great. Quick pin attempt, wow. not even a one count. You're gonna have to do better than that. Yeah, way too early. Oh, beautiful counter DDT. Indeed, and here's a pinfall, not even a one count. Same thing. Gotta do better than that to put Frost Lord out. Oh, what a oh the massive spine buster. And now he's picking him up into a choke slam, maybe. Double arm choke slam. And down goes Night Demon. Frost Lord overpowering, but the counter on again by Night Demon. Frosty has to roll out of the ring to to regain uh, himself and he's right back in. These two aren't giving up so easily in this tournament. You know they want that damn chocolate bar. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sure thing, Flicky. <laughs> sure thing. Every oh, nice running DDT. <laughs> Trying to eat a chocolate bar. <laughs> I just get fatter for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this is just a slugfest. Oh, but he flips him around into that full Nelson suplex. And that might have caught Frosty. And oh, look out. Look out. We've seen this end matches before. <sighs> Flapjacks him down. And uh -oh. now we've definitely seen this end matches before. Here comes the zombie. Oh. And is that enough to put Frosty down for the count? Oh. No, two count kick out. Frost Lord stays in it. Zombie number one does not deliver a victory, but Night Demon ain't done yet. <laughs> Look at this big back body drop there. Incredible stuff from Night Demon. Sure is. <laughs> oh, but Frosty winds him up with a huge clothesline oh. there. And hauls him back to his feet. Another crushing body blow. Oh. And there it is. He's trying to squeeze the unlife out of him. He's got him in the... He's done it! No, no he hasn't. Oh, I thought the ref was <laughs> signaling. I thought the ref was signaling for a second there. But no, he was saying he's good. And somehow Night Demon's still in this match. Boy, how I thought I thought Frostlord had crushed him there. Yeah. Unbelievable. What an opening match oh. for Friday. Stand Firm special Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate <laughs> Tournament of the Ages, folks. <laughs> I can assure you this is the first time. Actually, this is probably not true because some of the indies get a little light on the uh, payouts. But this is the <laughs> first time in professional televised wrestling a tournament has been held for a chocolate bar, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> Almost certainly. <laughs> and there it goes. Dumps him outside of the ring. Night Demon in hot pursuit here. Oh, we didn't turn off count outs. That could complicate things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Didn't think of that. Yeah, it should have been extreme well, I rules, think it, shouldn't it? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, we, well, we can pray. <laughs> yeah. It's too late to go home now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, and here we go. Night Demon back in the ring here. I am smelling another zombie real soon. Frostwood's going to have to figure something out here. Oh, oh my the Demon goodness. Driver. Yeah, Demon Driver into the ring. Here's a pinfall. That could do it. <laughs> and it does. Night Demon put Frosty down and out. Night Demon has won the opening bout of Friday Stand Firm in the battle for the 100 grams of Jimmy Fantastic Sweet Sweet Chocolate. <laughs> oh baby. What a match to open the night. Night Demon coming away with the victory. Incredible stuff. Jesus Flicky. <laughs> <laughs> oh god lemon. <laughs> Congratulations to Night Demon. Commiserations, Flicky Flack. Night Demon advances to round two. We're about to find out who he is facing uh, next in this tournament in another one on one match. As Night Demon grabs his uh, weird toys and celebrates his victory, he knows 
he's going to get that much closer to the sweet chocolate release of 100 grams of crispy wafer flavored goodness. Yep. Uh, no Advac, they were all live. Yeah, yeah. We're not fucking recording this shit <laughs> for a chocolate bar. And next up, folks, round one continuing. Who will face Night Demon? Let's get to ringside in just a minute to find out the two next entrants in the Atlantic group of presents stand Friday stand firm without actually presenting it. Cause we are not affiliated with that company or their chocolate products in any Fishing. way whatsoever. <laughs> we just want to make that clear, but we are absolutely sponsored by that chocolate tonight. Cause we're giving it away. <laughs> Even though we're not sponsored. Yep. <laughs> I bet you stretch up, motherfuckers. <laughs> As you can see, we our weather was so slick that that's, that's how you know it's... it's <laughs> that's how you don't oh. know it's so slick. <laughs> well, here's a guy that could use 100 grams of chocolate, I bet. <laughs> it's Goliath Games, and he is here tonight to go far all the way to the finals. I don't think he uh, gets out of bed for less than 10,000 grams of chocolate, to be honest. <laughs> Goliath. <laughs> it's, it's technically is sponsored, but... Uh... Oh, Fro <laughs> Frosty. Frosty, about five minutes too late to see his effort to win. 100 grams of chocolatey goodness unfortunately come to an end at the hands of Night Demon in our round one bout. Night Demon beating Frost Lord Army in this tournament and now oh, awaiting the winner of Goliath Games TV versus who knows in round two. <laughs> Frosty. Yeah. Rough. Uh, that's a good question, J5. <laughs> Heavy as fuck and enough to break a tooth. Damn it, I almost broke a tooth on that. Not that I would ever besmirch <laughs> our, our lovely sponsors, not sponsors, for the night, Atlantic Grupa and Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate. Yep. Boom. That's about a quarter pound of chocolate, J5, and that's their small bars. Whoa. Rectum. I love the rect on the rectum. <laughs> it's my favorite part of it. No, they have they have pounds, don't they? They have pounds and ounces, Flicky. It's only the Brits that like mix everything up. Yeah, we do pounds it. and ounces. We we would do pounds and ounces for stuff like this. Yeah. Yeah, we. We have miles and stuff, but then we have grams for chocolate. But oh boy. <laughs> well, that's why I keep fods, Frosty. And stones for weights. A stone is what, 14 pounds, right? <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, you know, news to me, Peppered Biscuits, uh, a member now of six feet down under. Last I saw, he was throwing Skirmezzo through an electrical panel at WrestleMania. Here he is in undead form. But that makes it interesting. If he's able to get past Goliath Games TV, he'll be facing Night Demon in round two. Boy, howdy. <laughs> that will be something. Sure will be. Look at that. Look at those two. But if anyone makes uh, PB not look as big as he could, it could be Goliath Games. <laughs> yeah. Goliath Games is an absolute giant. Well, Goliath, isn't he? It's not. It's not. Yeah, it has nothing to do. <laughs> it has nothing to do with us making a list of the people who've contributed most to Jimmy's stream. <laughs> 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 nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. It absolutely is lean. Gary, get your ears cleaned and pay attention, my friend. You've missed a hell of a start to this special edition of Friday Stand Firm. 
and we are competing for 100 grams of Jimmy Fantastic chocolate, and that's crispy wafer flavored. We've got the best of the best picked, hand picked by the Atlantic Group, in no way associated with Jimmy Fantastic's <laughs> YouTube or Twitch stream. The Atlantic Grupa Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate. Again, not sponsoring us in any way, shape, or form, but sponsoring this event tonight anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. Johnny I look Schmitz. forward to us Go getting sued yourself. by them and them playing these tapes <laughs> in, in a court somewhere in Croatia. <laughs> It's 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 not sponsored officially in any official in any official capacity whatsoever, but there will be a bar of chocolate forever in real life for whoever yes. wins this. Uh, if you have not seen the lead in video yet, Lean Gary, get yourself into Jimmy Fantastic's Twitch or uh, Discord. Uh, you can find the video link there. It's also at the start of this VOD. This is why you show up on time, folks, so you're not missing out. And speaking of missing out, I think Goliath Games might be missing out on a bar of chocolate if he doesn't get something going here because Peppered Biscuits is all over him. And here's a pinfall. No, just a one count. The grumbling tummy of Goliath Games has willed him back to his feet. And this Whoa. match continues. Oh, what a spine buster. Holy moly. <laughs> Is that what Goliath needs? No, it's not. He's counted. This is one night and one night only, Lean Gary. Special edition Ooh. of Friday Stand Firm. The Atlantic Grupa in no way, shape, or form paid me specifically to come <laughs> out of retirement for this event. Atlanta Grouper, of course, have given Gorilla Metzor the exact same wage. They've matched the wages that he earned in all of his time at the JFW. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that, 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 that's true. <laughs> what an offer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Flicky. <laughs> Don't worry, things will be going back to normal for you guys on Monday. Who you got Monday? Some asshole like Elp? Fuck that fucking seagull. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh my wow. goodness, look at the elevation into a spear wow. by PB. Unbelievable amazing. strength and agility on display by Peppered Biscuits, but it did no good for him <laughs> as he gets flattened by Goliath. You cannot stop the wreck train as it surges forward. <laughs> Oof. For that chocolate, but PB all over him there. Nice DDT right into a pinfall. Boy, howdy. What a maneuver. <laughs> That's true. That was a great. I thought I thought he was just doing a European uppercut there. Yeah. <laughs> he went in for the spear. <laughs> it was pretty great. Whoa. Oh. Well, Goliath introducing him to the inner inside of his arm, and now look out. Close. Oh no, no, that was a spike chop right to the head. Might have knocked him out. Oh no, he's straight back on top of things. Pepper Biscuit absolutely relentless. The sure undead is. monster. Oh, running spear into the corner there. And PB is fired up right now. Look out, Goliath. Goliath is going to have to show him something here. Going to have to charge up that Auga train. Get those <laughs> tanks fully erect and firing. <laughs> oh, wow. Peppered Biscuits stumbles and Goliath yeah. back on the offensive now. Yeah, Peppered Biscuits might have tired himself out beating off Goliath. <laughs> yeah. We've all we've all been there, folks. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at this big sidewalk Ooh. slam. We've seen that in matches before. Is he gonna go in for the pin? That could do it. Oh no, Ooh. Goliath a little staggered and winded himself here. Big man wasn't built for endurance. He was just built for love. <laughs> yep. Oh, look at this. Oh, excellent use of his size into a counter, <laughs> into a suplex. And Goliath Games on top of PB right now. Oh, 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 no, the choke slam got countered by PB. And now oh, he's, man. I think he's strangling him there. Ref not calling it. Maybe he's got him in some sort of sub chin lock submission. Yeah, chin lock submission. And he gets the chin breaker counter off. And Goliath 
If Goliath's going to win this, he's going to have to win it in the next 30 seconds of this match, I think. What's he got for PB? He's got a big boot to that face. <laughs> yeah, Ain't no card on this one, Lean Gary. It's an eight-man single elimination tournament. We've seen our first four entrants in Night Demon and um, Frost Lord Army. Night Demon winning that one. And then these two, who is going to go to round two and face Night Demon? Look Oof. at the strength. Oh, that's got to do it. You could see it in Goliath's eyes. He went down. Here's the pin. Oh. Two count. Goliath kicks out. You can tell he's hungry for some chocolate, folks. Unbelievable. How did he kick out? I have no idea. Goliath's showing a lot of resilience. Look at this. Camel Clutch. We've still never <laughs> seen that in matches before. Oh, no, that's not true. Otter Royal did win a match with that once. Yep. He tried to break his back and make him humble. He sure did. <laughs> Goliath now bounces him off that turnbuckle. Come on, Goliath. Actually, I should root for PB here. Not that I have to send chocolate <laughs> either somewhere else in the U.S. or internationally. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> and here's a pin by Goliath. No, one count kick out. What does Goliath have to do to keep Peppered Biscuits down for a three count? I don't know. I think it might involve having to break that ring. Yeah, maybe. Another sidewalk slam to the yellow-faced freak. <laughs> Where's Goliath going? This is not extreme rules. It's not not no. going for a weapon. Just needed a little breather, I guess. <laughs> Coming right back in the ring and going after him. Oh, Boy, howdy. Oh, and he's ready for the, he's ready for the choke slam again. The first one was Can counted. Can he get it? Yeah, first time countered. He's got him this time, though. This might end it. This might end it. Goliath, oh. he's through the ropes. Doesn't want to be that close to the ropes, though. This is going to be a rope break. Oh, it's not. Ref not counting oh. it. Two count kick out anyway. Somehow, PB kicks out. And this match is going to continue. What an epic bout. Oh, he's going to go for another choke slam. Goliath's going to do it. Goliath's oh going to do God. it. He's got the giant zombie up and down, and that's got to be it. Goliath is hungry for some chocolate, folks. He's and he he has down it. again. Oh, my God. He's, kicked He's out. somehow kicked out he again. Kicked out. I don't believe it. <laughs> Goliath, what else can he possibly do? to this unstoppable zombie beast that is Peppered Biscuits. My God. Holy shit. And again, if PB wins this, he's got Night Demon, who seemingly resurrected him as a zombie, to join six feet down under awaiting him. What a match that would be. But you got to root for Goliath after the heart we've seen here. Oh, good Lord. Is it going to be a count out? <laughs> Come on, Goliath, wake up. No, he's... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. oh wants Goliath to... wants to win it in the ring. Heart of a champion. Stomach of a guy without 100 grams of chocolate in it. Look at this. Oh, Another oh, choke slam. Oh, no. oh, my goodness. Another ref. Ref calling it. Oh, wow. they're checking on... I mean, he's a fucking zombie, ref. Don't slow us down. There we go. <laughs> Drops the elbow. Get him. Pin him. Pin him, Goliath. Ah! <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is like watching the Viper versus the Mountain, except there's two mountains. <laughs> Holy shit. And that might do it for Goliath. A huge slam. Somehow, PB found a way. Yeah. He's... And the ref counts three. <sighs> Unbelievable. I don't know how PB came back after all that damage, but there it is. He's won this one, and Goliath down for the count. Peppered Biscuits will be facing Night Demon next round, but we have two more matches in our first round of this tournament. Who will our mystery entrants be in the bottom half of this bracket? You're about to find out, you motherfuckers. <laughs> You seem to have gone a bit, uh, 
A bit of a putty mouth on you lately, uh, gor uh, Gorilla. I, I don't know. Have you not been? Well, I know you haven't been paying attention for most of the year, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just excited to be back. Glorious. That was oh, one God. heck of a match. Is that better for you? Boy, howdy, Jim. <laughs> Flip Boy, me out. That, that was a great match. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Miss you too, Fug. All right, and who is coming out next, folks? Let's get to ringside in just a moment. What a tournament. We've already had six feet down under, taking the top two spots to make it to the semifinals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hello, Purple Chest. <laughs> Imagine just taking yeah, Sean nice. Bean some chocolate. <laughs> Be a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I <laughs> finalized the entrance, but that would have been brilliant. <laughs> wow, that's that's so weird. I, I just did you just get a sense of 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 epic failure in a championship match and oh hey calcium how you doing all right calcium gas in the house and that's right it's me gorilla mezzo back for a one night and one night only calling this very special tournament and uh our next match look at this tag team champion former champion and uh extraordinaire it's lean gary cowboy lean gary Coming out here for singles action. Oh man, Every, this is unbelievable. Frosty turned up just after his match, and Goliath turned up just after his match. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course he did. Of course he did. Goliath always turns up just after his match. <laughs> he does, yeah. He's way to the ring. Oh, why, of, of course yeah, you of all a... people notice J5, you twat. I, I noticed, I noticed too, because I was about to say something about Birmingham, Alabama being PB's hometown, but I realized the last match wasn't there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I should have changed Dan Fern to always be in the same place before this, but I forgot. Yeah, well, we can't run this. We can't run this like a universe show, so. No, but I could have just, just I could have just said it in one place, you know? Oh, yeah, fair enough just for today but well whatever we filmed this we filmed this all over the country we <laughs> want to make sure just like you can buy jimmy fantastic chocolate anywhere so long as you live in croatia or slovenia you can witness <laughs> this tournament all across the united states in these eight cities oh man maybe should have just made it in croatia that would have been brilliant wouldn't it but yeah, absolutely <laughs> but unfortunately he didn't think of that and we're already halfway through now so there's no turning yep. back now <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh my goodness, I missed this one. <laughs> the literal fucking goblin, one half of the two heads champions, took those belts from around the waist of Lean Gary. It's Mora Dam versus Lean Gary. Nivetta Stretcha, <laughs> Titus Lucretius Karras. <laughs> <laughs> it was wasn't script wasn't scripted all fixed Goliath. <laughs> I legitimately said this is exactly what's gonna happen with Goliath. He's gonna show up right after his match and then complain that he's not on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said those exact fucking words when we were trying to pick who should be and I was like, Goliath won't be there and if he is he'll be there ten minutes after his match and he'll complain that he's not on. <laughs> <laughs> Every goddamn time, Goliath. Every goddamn time. <laughs> All right, but this one is about to get underway. Cowboy Lee and Gary versus Moradam the Literal Fucking Goblin. Boy, howdy. He slaps him yeah, down. Yeah, tag man. team action. Now, could you, ima could you imagine either of these guys getting their hands on PB or Night Demon in the finals? Oh, yeah. That would be a match. These two very familiar with each other, less experience with those uh, six feet down under guys. Yeah, and of course, Wade Gary uh, got to the final of the shit tournament, didn't he? So he's got experience in this kind of format before. Yeah, well, yeah, absolutely. A finalist in shit. 
never got to a <laughs> suitable conclusion between them, but uh, certainly <laughs> went the distance. Knows how to survive a single elimination tournament. Yeah, and Moradam getting a tiss of his own medicine there with that inverted atomic drop. Knacking <laughs> his knackers. <laughs> And uh, pardon me for one second, I gotta refill my water. First time I've had to do that in a long time. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. oh, what a maneuver from Moridan. Unbelievable. Oh. Just a one count. Oh, coming in with the stumps. <laughs> oh. And the knee drop to the dome. Impressive stuff. The <laughs> 20 elbow drops in a row was amazing, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it was so and, good. And now looks like I've come back. The goblin on top. But here comes Lean Gary countering out, getting back to his feet. These two, so familiar. You know, and they've both, they've both <laughs> used, oh goodness, have used every dirty trick in the game. Of course, Lean Gary does not have Oriol Lenses out. And in his corner, the guy of all the JFW roster that you want in your corner, it's Oriol Lenses, the country wizard himself. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, big, big miss for Lean Gary not having him there. <laughs> you already know the answer to that, J5. <laughs> oh. Look at that huge Beautiful. suplex. Oh, he caught his ankles there on the rope. That can that can really take your legs away from you. <laughs> this wrestling isn't fixed, oh. Goliath. Wow, incredible. Drops spear. his shoulder into him, spears him basically off of the apron there. And the fight, uh, terrifyingly, going to the outside of the ring one more time. <laughs> yeah. I usually know where I am. I just don't care where I should be. <laughs> oh. Four count and both men back in the ring. They don't want to find out what happens on a count out. <laughs> in this tournament of undefined rules. More than beautiful drop kick there. Yep. Oh boy. Nice, nice maneuver by Moradam and now loves to celebrate a little bit, but he has yet to feast on any <laughs> balls. Lane Gary wants nothing to do with that. <laughs> Speaking of, he's trying to get that belt buckle off, I think. Ref not calling anything. <laughs> Testicular claw, and Lee and Gary didn't enjoy that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing shady, though. Of course, about Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate Bars, who are presumably Fantastic Chocolate Bars. Oh, look at that. Oh. Well... I will say they go down like a more damn ball shot. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, that's going to do it. The low blow. Ref not calling it more damn your winner. And yet another American still alive. Thank Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so the chocolate will not be making a round trip flight from Croatia <laughs> to Boston to Germany. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> ref letting that one fly. Holy, holy moly. Help, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Here is your winner. Help never knows what he's talking about. That's a I, secret. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. well aware. I'm well aware. Hello, what, Ryan? There you go, Moradam, the literal fucking goblin flying the flag for CBT. Makes it through to the final fall. Hello, Otter Oil. <laughs> Getting the nut chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that's the one I almost broke my tooth on earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, folks, who is coming out next in this tournament? 
The final two entrants will be revealed. The winner of this match will go on to face Moradam in round two. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Well, no, we wanted, we wanted, we wanted, uh, you know, entertaining matches, JBG, not just Skrull ripping the wings off of a piece of shit seagull. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Here we go. Help me, in my humble opinion, one of the best commentators. Yeah, that's that not I've actually ever true. Heard in my life. But it's yeah. similar. Um, American, American chocolate tastes bad because it's it's uh, <laughs> it, they use corn syrup instead of sugar usually, and uh, it tastes like wax mostly. <laughs> Woo. Uh, no, I'm no. My claim was that you you were implying that I wouldn't know what good chocolate tastes like. Like I've never had fucking European chocolate before. <laughs> <laughs> It's Foxomania, boy howdy. You know, I'm gonna wager I've had more chocolate from more countries than you've had of American chocolate at all. <laughs> Reppin' Yorkshire, Yorkshire mania. Indeed. Foxomania, former extra arms belt champion, coming out. Who is he going to face in round one of this tournament? <laughs> Literally impossible, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. my goodness! <laughs> now this is interesting. It's him, it's him, it's JPG. And we've got a YPA Civil War here in round <laughs> one. JBG versus Foxamania. A <laughs> hundred grams of crispy wafers awaiting the winner of this match, and then they'd have to win two more. <laughs> <laughs> Battle of Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah. Damn straight, Steve Marty. Boy, howdy. <laughs> JPG suddenly not on Fox from any <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, howdy. Unbelievable. <laughs> Skirot does look after his mushrooms, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Toblerone, God. Toblerone sucks. <laughs> Oh, and man. here we go, the YPA going right after each other. Foxmania <laughs> grinding all thousands of his chest hairs into <laughs> JBG's face. <laughs> oh boy. What a match. And this one, yeah, this one, two former champions, two tag team partners. If anyone knows anything about the other, it's going to be on display right now. And look at this going in early with the submission. Foxamania on JBG. JBG able to get out of that one. Foxamania does love to weaken those arms and go for the finish. Yeah, the Fox Lock is just an unbelievable weapon, isn't it? Sure is, but on the other side, the good cutter. We've seen that at matches before, Jim. <laughs> we sure have. <laughs> nearly every match, in fact. He, nearly every time he hits it, it ends the match, so. Whew. Well, every time he wins a match, I'd say. Yeah, no, <laughs> He's yeah, lost yeah. plenty and hit it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, he nearly, he nearly, it nearly ends the match every time. 65% of the time it works every time. And the numbers <laughs> don't lie, and they spell disaster for Foxamania <laughs> if he can hit that good cutter. But Foxamania doing everything in his power to take away the opportunity. Here's a pin attempt for a one count. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> please no. Did you just laugh and fart at the same time? Is that no. what I just heard? No, no, I didn't okay. fart at all. Now, <laughs> 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 well, the things J5 has been keeping in his garage for the last three decades might taste better than the brownie bits and the Jimmy Fantastic <laughs> chocolate brownie bit bar that I literally almost died trying to eat while very stoned. 
I mean, they are fantastic candy bars, and we've just got to say special thanks to Atlantic Grupa for not sponsoring this event in any way, shape, or form by providing us no candy that we didn't purchase ourselves and have our dogs breeders send from Zagreb, Croatia, to Boston to be able to put on this tournament with a prize support for you today. Surely flashlights. Incredible. Go fuck yourself. Oh boy! Oh! Oh! That's the that's the oh that's... the big leg drop oh and Foxamania not getting paid by the hour. No, he's got two more oh. matches to get that chocolate. But JBG able to kick out. Incredible! Yeah, they're like fucking melted fucking crayons, chip. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is again trying to weaken those arms set him up for the fox lock to come <laughs> we all came on jacket <laughs> the, uh, the dog the dog breed muppet or like or like a York Peppermint Patty. Yorkie is a is a chocolate. Oh, Yorkie bar. bar. No, I know. Yeah, I know. That's right. York. They're not for birds, right, Jim? Yeah, yeah. That's what it used to be like. That's not PC anymore. So they don't have that. But yeah, yeah I, was, I was kind of wondering if that was still their thing or not. No, no. But yeah, it's great. That's not for girls. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay, but so it's not the dog though. No, I'm not scared. the dog. No. This Muppet doesn't keep dogs. Oh, he's got him! Oh, that's it! Foxamania's done it! I didn't even see how he put him out! Caught him out of nowhere and Foxamania getting the win! Yeah, the big boot it was. And, oh, the big boot. Yeah, we've seen that in matches before. Foxamania <laughs> will be taking on Mordam in round two. But next up, folks, we are going to be setting up an undead battle for the ages. Another tag team going after each other here. Six feet down unders, Peppered Biscuits takes on the leader, Night Demon, the, the creator, Night Demon. <laughs> yep. I love that Muppet left to get a Yorkie in honor of this match, and the match is going to be well over by the time he gets back <laughs> yeah. and opens that chocolate bar. Yep. Here is your winner, Fox A Mania. Boy, howdy. It was and, nearly uh, everybody playing... with an emote for the, uh, for the final yeah. <laughs> Foxamania. Foxamania has got to be a lot of people's favorites to try and take this, uh, with the exception of me, Gorilla Mezzo. There's three <laughs> Americans and Foxamania remaining in this tournament. <laughs> oh, there you go. Boy, howdy. So now you can see that you can see the bracket draw. We've got Night Demon versus Pepper Biscuit, Moradam versus Foxamania. Boy, how indeed! Howdy. Night Demon, Pepper Biscuit coming at you right now. Pepper Biscuit had one hell of a match to get through to get into this spot. How much does he have left in the tank? Night Demon had a tough opponent as well in Frost Lord Army, but it was a much shorter match and a lot more definitive. Night Demon, and it looked like Pepper Biscuit took an injury in that match. Ref certainly slowed it down like he did. But again, you can never really know with Pepper Biscuit. Uh, just given given the amount he's contributed to the stream, he can kind of get whatever kind of treatment he wants from the JFW executives <laughs> at any given time. Because we are, sir, we are pay to win here in the JFW. <laughs> no idea of damage retention, so absolutely no idea. <laughs> I, I assume I assume it. Well, I think by default it is, so it probably is. Yeah, it probably is. So that might be a struggle for PB if he was indeed injured in that last game match. The following contest is a championship Well, you can do that by visiting my website and buying art for me, J5. <laughs> oh, you want it of me? I don't have pictures of myself on my website. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should. <laughs> <laughs> Gorilla Mezzo, professional that, wrestling commentator. <laughs> that, that amazing shot of me fucking chest hair out on the couch with a bottle of fucking whiskey. <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> 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 
J5, if you did that, I would send you enough pictures of me to do that with. <laughs> That's true, can't show nipples, yep. Hello, Unseen. Hello, Unseen Walker. Welcome to a very special edition of Friday Stand Firm. We are on a quest for 100 grams of crispy wafer-flavored Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate, and we're down to four men who can win it. And it's gonna be between these two undead monstrosities, Night Demon and Peppered Biscuits, to see who's going to the final. Yep. <laughs> what a beast PB is, and there it is, the fires of hell themselves greet him in the ring as he awaits his father creator of such night demon here we go what a match this should be and now that isn't the car but it is the special announcement from gorilla if you want to if you want to catch up on what tonight's glory. all about glory oh look at this just jump straight in the luthers press yeah absolutely night demon caught off guard by his own creation he should know all of his moves but the power and furiosity of pb and the donated thousand plus bits or dollars or whatever really give him an edge in this one <laughs> yep <laughs> oh, dear. night demon stomping away though he could go as quick as he possibly could to that zombie to really help himself out and we'll see what he's got for pb pb is looking a little slower than you'd expect from him after taking a little bit of damage here. And Night Demon Oof. knows it, going to dump him out of the ring, try and keep him grounded. Yeah, very impressive. <laughs> yeah, Ardback. <laughs> Ardback would have been a strong contender for this tournament for sure. Unfortunately, we had to limit it to eight spots. I did think we should have maybe thought about doing a Royal Rumble, but then I, yeah. I, we would have had to probably pre-record it. Yeah, and pre-recording it would be suck, wouldn't it, really? Yeah, this, I think this has got to be live, hasn't it? Seems yeah, it's... I think it's much more fair. If yeah. we're going to limit it to only eight people, it's just let the game decide. Yeah. yeah. Get the, Let the game decide who gets disappointed when I get high and eat their chocolate bar before sending it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Brutal. Well, it's bandaging the back, because if you remember, it's it's bandaging his torso rather than the shoulder. If you remember, his head went through his back, right? So <laughs> that I can assure you that bandage uh, <laughs> extends all around the oh. back area of, <laughs> of Pepper Biscuit. Yeah. Breaking Dad, I think the closest thing you're going to find in the JFW universe to a 64-man tournament would be the 32-man uh, shit tournament from the <laughs> from the early fall of 2020. Don't know if you were around at that point. Here comes a zombie, though. Ooh, that is, is the gift it? that keeps giving. Will he have caught him here? Oh, oh two and two thirds kick out. PB definitely feeling the effects of that first match against Goliath, as Night Demon almost got himself into the finals. Oh boy, yeah, he really must be on. Oh god. Oh what a oh what a pile driver. <laughs> Horrifying pile driver. And that I guess that zombie mostly just woke PB up. Because <laughs> here comes the furios fer yeah, ferocity furiosity, God. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know I'm back in the JFW. I got furries on the mind again. <laughs> that PB taking it to the father creator of six feet down under. Look at this! Huge gorilla press! Oh. And he slams him down. Is that going to do it? It might. Oh. No, two count. Night Demon still in this. <laughs> we could definitely oh. have a Furiosity tournament. <laughs> <laughs> And PB is on top of Night Demon here, wrenching that head, trying to just stay uh, stay above him, try and just wrench all of the energy out of Night Demon and get himself into the finals. Yep. 
Nice counter in by Night Demon. Night Demon to a vertical base here. Can he get something going here? Quick gut punch there. And look at this. Under hook. Oh, I thought it was a suplex, but no, it was a gut buster there with those knees. And a second zombie oh, lined up. He's got to hit it. It sure could be. He's got him up. He's got him down. He's no. got him for the pin. One, two, two. Oh. two count, kick out. Shrugged him off quicker than he did last time. <laughs> Night Demon Furious telling him to get the fuck back up. And what is he going to do to put PB away? No one's had an answer for, answer for him thus far. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, God. What a takedown right into a pin. And, oh, ref, I'm oh, counting. This... Ref, ref uh, I, I, oh, boy. What's oh. going on here? A little bit of buggery happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think the ref. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mating press. <laughs> uh... I think, I, I think the ref. The ref. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. We've got technical difficulties. Uh, bear with us, please. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, no, 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 it's not, it's not sorted. It's our, it's our, it's our, it's our standby music. Help! Shut the fuck up. No one cares what you think. Okay, they're off again. <laughs> oh wow! It looks, looks like Night Demon was able to kick out that pin. And oh god, this is gonna be a long match. I think. End the fucking turn, man! That would have been way better if it had been rolls reversed, like the ref refused to count PV out. Yeah. <laughs> The stream too much money. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> wow, well, maybe like... this one will be a squash match. <laughs> and Night Demon somehow, after getting out of that four minute buggery by PB, <laughs> is back in control here. Oh, but he comes up empty in the corner. Oh, dear. Oh, what a maneuver. <laughs> PV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, PV, if it's rigged for anyone, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there has been a lot of buggery, but yeah, that one was uh, that was a bit yeah. strong, wasn't it? That. <laughs> Night demon. Oh no! Nice catch. Catches the leg. These two guys have been battling for almost 15 minutes now. <laughs> At least it feels that way. <laughs> How do they still have the energy? Oh, God. To kick out at one there. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Incredible. Tiger suplex. Oh, and here we go. Hooks those legs. Beautiful suplex to follow. <laughs> He's trying to rip that mask off of him. I don't want to see what's under that thing these days. <laughs> no, God knows. Oh, savage move. Indeed. And Night Demon going for a quick pin again. He knows he's got him on the ropes here. He's very Ooh. winded. Two count kick out. That would be amazing, J5. <laughs> And here we go, Night Demon beckoning him up. Oh. He looked like he was going for a low kick there and got caught out. PB coming in with a low kick of his own. And look out, Night Demon. Oh, what a maneuver. <laughs> right into a pin. Two count Incredible. kick out. Oh, boy, he's finishes ready. Sure is. And what's going to happen here? PB. Big press slam again. Ooh. And that's got to do it. 
It's been just a hellacious bout between these two. PB with the pin. Oh. No, a two count kick out again by Night Demon. In the corner. Oh, oh, counters. Those Indeed, elbows. Night Demon so quick and technical. But just an unrelenting force. Peppered biscuits all over Night Demon. Somehow keeping his stamina up in this epically long <laughs> semifinal bout between the two undead. Yeah. And Night Demon finally able to fight his way out of that chin lock. And here he comes. Will we see another zombie? Doesn't look like Pepper Biscuits has any intention of letting that happen. No. Oh, God, look at this. Just assaulting. Assaulting Night Demon here with these elbows. Oops. Brutal. Sure is. Uh-oh. What's going on here? <laughs> Steps on the hand and j torques that shoulder. Is that enough? No. <laughs> Wow, only kicking after one with how, how long this match has been on. That's uh, incredible resilience. <laughs> oh, love that suplex. Well. Hangs on for the pin, too. Bridging pin. But no, PB able to kick out of that one. And look at this. Power, power on display by Night Demon. Flips him up and over. Flapjacks him right back down. <laughs> Oh, and again, and again going, going after mask. that mask. Maybe he's trying to tell him, I'm your daddy. I'm the <laughs> one who made you. I don't know why I said daddy there. <laughs> <laughs> A bit of uh, gorilla's dreams coming through them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I already said it. PB looking to finish this one off, maybe. He's all fired up now. Oh, look at this. The freight trains are coming. <laughs> oh, what a spine buster to, to end that sequence. And now PB picks up Night Demon, kicks him in the gut, and look out, Night Demon. <laughs> right over into another pin there. Beautiful maneuver. Oh. Two count again. I thought he had him there. Oh, <laughs> <Friday> night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's totally normal for these guys, isn't it? You know, can't can't blame them for that. <laughs> gotta gotta say, a little disappointed. The Friday night fuckboy himself was not able to make this tournament. Yeah. Le red mask, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> left out of the chocolate uh, wars. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit tragic. <laughs> He's got him. He's got He's him, got and him. Pepper Biscuit overwhelms him in a near 20-minute long bout. <laughs> Pepper Biscuit coming away with the win. That could have gone either way, but PB gets the big win over the father creator, Night Demon, and PB will await the winner of our next match. Oh boy. Could you imagine PB versus Moradam in the finals? <laughs> what a match. What a match that would be. <laughs> I could indeed, yeah. Just one match away. Anything can happen. Well, it might happen, Breaking Dad. It might happen. But Foxamania might have a thing or two to say about that. Uh, I don't believe that's true, PB. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no balls. <laughs> the joke's on you. I've got no balls. I remember that promo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Moridan versus Foxamania. Coming up next. And here we here we go. Who will face that undead beast? I don't think either of these guys want to. Who will face that undead beast 
in the finals, Foxamania versus Moradam. Next. Oh, baby. <laughs> Night Demon. <laughs> Well, you certainly didn't uh, assert dominance there, getting buggered by <laughs> <laughs> buggered by PV for about eight minutes uh, while we had to cut cameras. You know, you know, because our advertisers, like uh, like uh, the Atlantic Group of makers of Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate Nine Veggie Stretcha, everyone, they are not official sponsors of this stream, but they are officially in our hearts tonight, giving out a bar of chocolate to the winner of this tournament. And the final two vying for the final match are coming out now. It's Moradam versus Foxamania. <laughs> it's certainly not the best, Night Demon. It's certainly not the best. <laughs> Well, no one called himself Will. Jimmy Mediocre, would they? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think I think the word I used earlier to describe it uh, sums up that chocolate best, and that's um, astonishingly mediocre. <laughs> <laughs> I think probably nothing else. <laughs> Wouldn't care at all with that. There we go. You could always just change your name to, you know, James Fantastico and take a take a fifty grand or whatever currency they use in Croatia. Um, check. <laughs> yeah. I don't think they use euros there, right? No, I don't they think probably so. use euros. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe they do. Probably. Oh, they use kunas. Mm. <laughs> well, there you go. I did pay for the chocolate in euros, though. <laughs> Potatoes. Imagine if the currency was potatoes. <laughs> Blood Bowl players would be rich. No, Moradam. And, and here we go. Foxamania to a running start there. Nice clothesline to take Moradam down, get an early advantage in this one. Fuck's sake. Oh, well, that's fine because one Jimmy Ch one Jimmy Fantastic chocolate bar uh, is worth about sixteen Hershey's bars. <laughs> 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 Probably thirty Hershey bar. Hershey bars are fucking terrible. <laughs> so it's a fair exchange. <laughs> And Moradam now cranking that neck, grabbing him by the beard a little bit there. Ref okay with the hair contact, working over that neck to set him up for the, the a ball shot. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, <it's> true, yeah. <laughs> You'd think that. Oh. Just because the chocolate's bad doesn't mean that it doesn't get eaten. <laughs> Early pin attempt here. Oh, yeah, doesn't even get a one count. I was very optimistic. Yeah. What will we see first? A ball shot or a fox lock? That could be the difference maker in this one. Who can get the early momentum? Give them nice this. flying forearm into the corner there by Foxmania. Here's another pinfall. What? Not showing Ooh. much respect to each other with these pin attempts. Mm. And with a size discrepancy, maybe maybe Foxamania will just go for the big boot to just take him out and the you know the leg drop. He might even go for the fox the fox lock in this one, yeah. Well there's a testicular claw, that's the closest thing, Chip. <laughs> yeah, the testicular claw is uh, it's pretty brutal. 
Um, yeah, well, I was going to say, you know, the country you live in, England, but uh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, I guess Iceland isn't technically in the EU. They use their own currency, as does all of Scandinavia, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but all of it isn't, isn't a bit of it in, because the map looks like a dick. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> isn't, isn't one of the Scandinavian countries in the EU, and that's why, the, that's why there's a map that looks like a penis? Oh, maybe. Maybe is Denmark? I thought they were all in the Shenzhen... Area. Oh, there's the leg drop! Foxamania, he's won one match with that tonight. No, that was a big boot. Oh! oh, oh almost had him, and what a disappointment for Mordam that would have been if the leg drop had won that match. Mordam able to kick out and stay alive. Yeah, Sweden's in, but Norway isn't. Oh, go. is that what it is? But Sweden uses their own currency. Do they? I think so. Testicular claw again. Oh, look at this. Shinbreaker hangs on. Dragon screw. What a combination by Foxamania. <laughs> oh. And look at this. Yep, here we here go. it is. Fox the lock. Fox Lock. He's got it locked in. Can Mordam get out or is he going to tap? He's right there. Reach out for those ropes. Oh, Mordam able to fight his way out. He's able to fight his way out and stay in this one somehow. But now he's going to have to dig deep into, well, Foxamania's trousers to come back in this one, I think. And I oh, think look, he's, he's about ready. to. I think he's about oh. to. Ref, ref not calling it again, looking right at it. And here it is. Does Mordem have him with the low he's blow? He's oh, just... No, two count kick out again. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this is some... Some showboating here. Toxic showboating from Moradam. Yeah. Gets away with it, maybe. Oh, where is he going? He's going top rope. Oh, this is a bad spot. idea. Fox Mania, very bad idea. No! Oh, he's got him, though! What a Hurricane Rana takedown. A Hurricane Rana takedown. <laughs> and now a flying forearm, two. And he completes oh, it with a bicycle, bicycle kick. kick. Oh, he no oh, sells it! Fox Foxmania not going out. Without a fight. Oh, but oh he's open. busting him open with a drop toe hold. Foxamania <laughs> somehow weathered the storm and got the big move to plant Mordem's face into the mat. But Mordem right back on top of him now. Here comes that classic JFW tag team monkey flip. We see it from so many tag team specialists in the JFW. Absolutely. And here we go again. Whee. Another one right into the corner there. Goes for the pin. Could this be it? No. Two cow kick out again, and the match continues. Oh, Who will well, be going to be the main this. event here? He's got, he's got a lot Ball of... shot coming. Whoa. He's got him. That's two. <laughs> one for each testicle. Foxamania down. Is he out? Will the literal fucking goblin be facing Peppered Biscuits? Yes. He will be. Mordam has done it. Unbelievable. Boy, howdy. Mordam has gone to the finals. And our finals, the battle for 100 grams of crispy wave for goodness, comes down to Peppered Biscuits of six feet down under versus Mordam of cock and ball torture. Oh. It's coming up next in your main event, the end of this tournament. Atlantic Grupa had nothing to do with sponsoring this stream, <laughs> but we're still giving them the shout out anyway. Jimmy, fantastic chocolate available all around the world in supermarkets everywhere in Croatia and Slovenia. <laughs> yep. And one fridge in Massachusetts. <laughs> Will it be headed to um, Alabama or uh, Michigan? Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> Not international shipping. <laughs> we are about to find out in your main event of Friday Stand Firm, a special edition. Yep. Oh, God, that was the wrong thing. All right, here we go. It's Peppered Biscuit versus Moradam. Boy, howdy.
boy howdy this one is going to be a slug fest the question is will it be peppered biscuits slugging moradam basically through his torso or moradam just fucking speed bagging his testicles <laughs> yeah. yeah hello man. tom schniz the friday fuck boy couldn't get himself into this tournament but that's okay the jimmy fantastic chocolate on the line in this match who's gonna win 100 grams of chocolatey goodness oh my god we're gonna find out very very soon Will it be the literal goblin, the literal fucking goblin whose only move is to punch you in the balls? Or will it be the guy who paid more than a thousand US dollars to have himself specially made to win AI matches? You're about to find out. Yeah, yeah, sorry, over two thousand. Sorry, BB. Sorry, BB. I, you know, none of it went into my bank account, so I don't really give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> Unbelievable. One thing we know for certain: Elt Meme wasn't even considered for this tournament because no one wants to watch that fucking seagull squawk his way around the ring and pretend like he knows how to wrestle. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care at all. <laughs> I had some chicken and rice in his honor afterwards. <laughs> Woo! And here he is, and if he's nervous about facing a man four times his size, you can't tell. It's possible Moradam picked up Dauntless between matches, and he's coming out tonight to shear some testicles off of a big-ass zombie brood. Oh, yeah, of course, Moradam, one of those thick skull goblins you hear about that'll be coming in Blood Bowl 3. So. Oh, God. <laughs> so he's got no fear at all. <laughs> Maybe he'll use these uh, gelding shears that he always brings to the ring. <laughs> Fucking should. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And while this is getting going, I'm going to refill my water one last time. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to have to edit this and uh, get the get the gorilla soundboard made up. <laughs> oh, a wild miss from Pepper Biscuit. Could he come unstuck against the literal fucking goblin? I mean, maybe. Very impressive showing from Moradam to beat to, you know, beat Lean Gary and Foxmania so far. Indeed, this has been a hell of a tournament for both competitors, and it all comes down to this: Peppered Biscuits. Oof, it's not looking good for Moradam off the rip here. Nope. Peppered Biscuits trying to get himself a hundred grams of chocolate. Moradam trying to survive but also get said chocolate <laughs> mailed to them uh, in honor of winning this Atlantic Group of Not Sponsored Tournament for Jimmy Fantastic Chocolate on Jimmy Fantastic's <laughs> TV Twitch stream, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I gotta yep. let a dog out. One sec. <laughs> oh, the classic I gotta let a dog out. <laughs> <laughs> Getting all the hits in here. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem at all. Oh, what's this? Oh, howls, unfortunately. They howled like 20 minutes before the show started. <laughs> oh, the headbutt. Oh, snap headbutt there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mordam, Mordam does have a significant disadvantage. He did just wrestle a match. PB at least had a little bit of a breather uh, heading into this final match. But Mordam, you know, Mordam doesn't really have a problem with endurance here. And he does have a tendency to be able to end a match really fucking quickly. <laughs> but it ain't going to be like that. Nope. 
Oh, judo takedown by PB. But Mordem on the counter quick, gets him into the corner and chops him. Look at this. Oh, we've seen this so many times from Mordem. We've seen this so many times from PB's creator, Night Demon. Mordem, though, really made that one stick. Drops the knee, and what a flurry and what a comeback here by Mordem. Can he find a way to beat Peppered Biscuits? What the fuck was that sign that was just held up? It looked like a goddamn wizard. I've got no idea. Did you see it? I didn't know. Oh, that was so weird. Maybe it'll come up again. Yeah. That was really weird. Keep an eye out. I know. Now I'm going to be staring at the audience. That's not what you want. <laughs> no. Damn you, gorilla. Come on, bitch. Hold it up again. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he went for the spear, so but, but he did. He missed the spear. Look at this! Oh, oh, full force right into the chest oh. by Mordam. Incredible! Oh, and there's the testicular oh, claw. The testicular claw. BB. BB felt oh. that one. Oh, boy, how down he goes, Mordam. He is moving. Oh, is that what it is? It's Papa Shanga. Okay. Oh, and here we go. He's ready. He's ready for the ball shot. Could it? Could it happen? Oh. Dreams do come true. Good night, Peppered Biscuits. Moradam hits him yes, with the ball is. shot. One, two, <laughs> nah, two cow kick out. PB's still alive. Moradam can't believe it. He thought he'd want himself a bit of chocolate. <laughs> Instead, uh, <laughs> well, here comes PB now. Nope. Yep. <laughs> Boom. And that might do it for more damn. We've seen that in matches before, folks. We have. This could be it. No, he no, kicks No, more damn. Heart of a champion. Claws of a ball taker. He's still <laughs> in it. The literal fucking goblin trying desperately to get to his feet to end this match. Oh, shit. But instead runs into a freight train. Yep. Uh oh, oh what a spine buster. I'm shocked he doesn't have the Cena come back because Night Demon made him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank God he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Shades of the creator. Oh, no, the running power slam. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. That's going to do it for Night Demon. The hoy and, yep. Does. Peppered Biscuits, folks, has put down the literal fucking goblin and the zombie juggernaut has won a very special stand firm he's won himself the honor the glory but most importantly <laughs> 100 full grams of jimmy fantastic's crispy wafer flavored chocolate goodness will be coming his way pepper biscuits is your atlantic grupa not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> champion tonight. Oh boy. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic's big end. You'll be able to, <laughs> to, <laughs> to oh, get your lips boy. around. <laughs> yep. Let me tell you, as somebody who's, who's had a lot of Jimmy in him <laughs> the last week, you're not in for a treat. <laughs> That's just the reviews from his Tinder profile. Anyway, folks, that is going to do it for Friday. Stand firm. It's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Not to Atlantic Group for not doing anything to have this, but thank you to Jimmy Ventura and the JFW for having me back for one night and one night only. <laughs> My name is Gorilla Mezzo, and I am so happy to be back with you guys tonight. See you later, everyone. Take care. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Absolutely amazing. You're, you're the greatest. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.